Welcome. In this video, we will be discussing about the generation of knockout mice using homologous recombination. So, before moving forward, if you are new to my channel, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Now, let us start this topic. We will see the brief introduction. We know that researchers they have developed a technology to target the desired gene so that we can target specific sites within the germline of an animal by using a homologous DNA recombination. So we use the homologous recombination and by using this homologous recombination we are able to target the desired gene to specific sites and within the germline of an animal. Now we will see the production of gene targeted knockout mice it involves the following steps so what are the different steps which are involved in production or in production of gene targeted knockout mice so, so the first step it is we need to isolate and we need to culture the embryonic stem cells from the inner cell mass of a mouse blastocyst so we will take a mice and we will isolate the blastocyst from that mice and then we will take out the embryonic stem cells that is inner cell mass from this blastocyst and we will culture them now we need to generate the desired or altered form of the gene and that must be bounded by sufficient dna sequence so that we can facilitate the homologous recombination so here we have the engineered insertion construct that is the target gene is disrupted with the neomycin resistance gene and the thymidine kinase gene and these are located outside the target gene so we call this as the target gene insertion construct so this is the target gene insertion construct and now this construct it is transferred to cultured embryonic stem cells so we have to introduce it into the cultured embryonic stem cells and we know that the recombination it occurs in only about one percent of the cells with non-homologous recombination and that is very much much more frequent than the homologous recombination. Now we have to introduce the desired gene into the cultured embryonic cells and selection of the homologous recombinant cells in which the gene of interest or insert has been incorporated and then we will use the sensitive PCR techniques to determine which embryonic stem cell colonies have incorporated the desired gene into the correct location. So we have here the embryonic stem cell DNA this is the embryonic stem cell DNA and here it will happen uh, homologous recombination or non homologous recombination and now the gene targeted insertion it will contain the neomycin resistance gene and also the uh, the, the uh, embryonic stem cell DNA and the random insertion it will contain the both selection genes neomycin resistance gene and the thymidine kinase gene as well now injection of homologous recombinant embryonic stem cells into the recipient mouse blastocyst and then surgical implantation of the blastocyst into a pseudo pregnant mouse so we have to use the here we need to use here the uh, injection of the embryonic uh, stem cells into the blastocyst cavity of early embryo and then this will be uh, incorporated there and after that we need to uh, surgically transfer embryo into pseudo pregnant mouse so this is basically the pseudo pregnant mouse and after that the chimeric progeny how will they they will they will be produced and they will have black and white coats so these are the chimeric progeny and now the mating of chimeric offspring heterozygous for the disrupted gene to produce homozygous knockout mice so we will take basically the mice that is the chimeric mice and we will mate this mice with the homozygous white mice and it will lead to the production of the progeny that will be the black progeny and these black progeny they will develop from germline cells that 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 are derived from embryonic stem cells and these are actually the heterozygous for disrupted gene x and now we will see the selection how we basically select the cells we have three different types of cells 
one is called as the non recombinant cells another are called as the recombinant cells with their random insertion and recombinant cells with gene targeted insertion so basically we have three different types of cells one are the non recombinants and others are the recombinant cells and in case of the recombinant cells we have the recombinant cells with random insertion and recombinant cells with gene targeted insertion now we will treat with neomycin uh, to uh, these non uh, to these cells and we will see that the non recombinant embryonic stem cells they will die so we will be left with two types of cells now among these two types of cells we will treat them with the uh, again ciclovir so that the non homologous uh, embryonic stem cells embryonic stem cell recombinant recombinants they will die and actually this uh, gain ciclovir it is an analog to uh, it is an analog to the uh, this is a nucleotide analog and by this we will have the cells that are actually this uh, the desired cells these cells they will be homologous embryonic uh, stem cells recombinants they will be having targeted disruption in the gene x and they will survive so this is all about this topic hope you have enjoyed 